Uh, good morning, we're here with Ellen at Max Medical Robotic Hair Clinic and we're about to begin the robotic hair restoration uh, procedure. We're doing about 1,300 grafts uh, today. Uh, Ellen came, uh, he's, he's local, he's a local police officer and we really appreciate your service. Um, could you tell me a little bit of your story? I started losing my hair at 18 years old. I always had an issue with it, but I was on medication for a while. I kept it, my hair, but then after a while, I stopped doing the medication and I started losing my hair. I believe it's important to have confidence, especially with the line of work that I do. And I feel like it would be time for me to um, get my hair lost in check. Great. And uh, uh, what, what, what are the reasons you chose uh, robotic hair restoration? I did my studying and I, I did not want to go with the strip or any other stuff that, uh, you know, requires surgery, like an actual surgery. So I figured this would be the safest and most, is the newest technique also. And I, I figured it's probably one of the better. Absolutely. Yeah, so when you delegate the most uh, important task to the robot, such as harvesting of the hair follicles, the robot's much more precise. We also can use smaller punches, the smaller the amateur, means faster recovery too and um, faster growth because the faster we place those grafts back into the scalp the better growth we get also um, important to mention that having not having a big a scar doesn't limit patients later to the hairstyle they want to um, have they can cut as short as needed as, uh, the, head, the back of the head as short as needed and unless the use of kind of magnification device is going to be hardly visible. And the recovery time is about three to four days for the back of the head to look almost completely normal. Okay, so we're going to begin very soon. We're going to start with anesthesia. And uh, the hairline was drawn and uh, we're going to do a lot of uh, restoration here in this area and we'll restore the uh, window speaks as well and we'll keep you posted thank you very much Hi again, we're here with Alan. Uh, we finished uh, 1433 grafts procedure with Artas. We had a little glitch for the system, but what is nice about robotic uh, uh, restoration company, we got support right away. Uh, we're able to figure out and we're back in business. So um, we did the front part and the back, and it uh, looks perfect. We'll show you the pictures around the area um, with the grafts were taken is almost invisible and it's only 30 minutes after we finish the procedure. Uh, how was your experience? It was good, uh, painless, and uh, I'm sure it's a lot worse for the nurses and for me. I just <laughs> lay down there. Right, and we have a tape right across the forehead. It's you know to prevent any swelling to going down. But typically, we don't see any problems. And um, with the artist, the artist can selectively pick those uh, multiple hair follicles, hair follicle units. So we actually, it's only 1,400 uh, grafts, but. Um, I think we estimate over 6,000 hairs were transplanted because they're all multiples. <laughs> 